All right, now we're doing 8Q basic mathematical operations. This is by Quix, and 91% of the people like it. Our task is to create a function that does four basic mathematical operations. The function should take three arguments, the operation, which is going to be string, like this right here, uh, value 1, which is a number, and value 2, which is also a number, value 1, and value 2. All right. And uh, the function should return the result of the numbers after applying the chosen operation. So plus, so 4 plus 7, 11, 15 minus 18 is negative 3, 5 times 5, 25, 49 divided by 7, 7. Awesome. All right. So for this one, we could do an if statement. We could do a bunch of if statements. We could do switch statements, whatever. Uh... I don't want to do any of that. I want to do ternary operator. And I'm going to say const here, basic op equals operation value 1 at value 2, and this right here. All right, so for the ternary operator, if you don't know about it, it's uh, the only JavaScript operator that takes three operands, a condition followed by a question mark, which is why it's also called conditional operator, uh, then an expression to execute if the condition is truthy, followed by a colon, and then finally, the expression to execute if the condition is falsy. This operator is frequently used as an alternative to an if-else statement. All right, so that's what we're going to use it for, an if-else statement. So what we're going to do here is we're going to say uh, something like if operation equals something, one of the operators, we're going to do something, and then if not, we're going to do something else, okay? Uh, so the thing we're going to do here is we're going to say value 1 space value 2. And then in this space right here, we're going to put uh, plus or whatever, whichever one we got to use. And then we're going to take this, copy it, paste it three times, and then on the last one we're just going to do it uh, we're going to do what's left over. So right here, we push plus, and then over here, plus, minus, minus, and then uh, times, then times, and then we'll take this value 2, value 1 and value 2, bring it right over here, and we'll say divided by. And let's test it out. All right, and it works. And attempt it. And submit it. All right, and so right here, they're doing a switch statement, which we could have done that, a bunch of copy and pasting just like we did. Uh, this is the eval way, uh, which basically just does whatever it says, exactly how it says it. But uh, executing JavaScript from a string is in is an enormous security risk. It's far too easy for a bad actor to run arbitrary code when we use eval. So never use eval. Just a thing. I guess you click it and blah, blah, blah. Anyway, whatever. So hackers can use it, whatever. It's up to you. And then blah, 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 you keep going and you'll see all kinds of stuff. Let's go to mine. Uh, just us right here, plus three of us. Best practice in my opinion. Very much like it. And we'll see you next time.